We don't really need to introduce her, but anyway, we've got to tell you she's a familiar face. She never rests on her laurels. Uh, if she's not surrounded by women taking their clothes off, I know it all too well, then she's probably writing her latest best-selling novel, which is called The Newcomer Fern, right? Yeah. So, so who is The Newcomer? The Newcomer is um, a, a new vicar in the village. Mm -hmm. um, I often write about the same village and the characters kind of recur, but you don't need to read them in any order. But the old vicar has gone on a missionary to Brazil for a year and so I thought that's good yes I'll get a woman vicar in mm -hmm. and so a lady vicar's come in it's her first proper parish she's been lent it to see how she goes she's a married woman she has a mom uh, she has a daughter her mum's just died uh, she's her mad auntie Mamie arrives who's very glamorous arrives in a Jensen interceptor and likes gin and smoking and everything now who did you base her on me no <laughs> um, well sort of a sort of my mum, who was, um, uh, you know, in her younger days, certainly so glamorous, she'd drive along in her little Triumph Herald in those days with a Dr Shivago hat on, and drivers, men, would drive along the car and go, oh, hello, and uh, honestly, <laughs> I'd be sitting in the front seat going, Mummy, that man's looking at you. Yes, I know, just keep going. I mean, she's you, you gorgeous. sadly lost your mum, so... Yes, was April it, last was year. It a nice thing to find a character that reminded her? People are like, <laughs> they interview me and I go... Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. So I've done my own bit of therapy there, yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, you, you said that you had to take yourself off on a, on a cruise. Yes. To kind of grieve a bit for your mum and be on your own yes. and write at the same time. Yes. She died on April the 17th last year, mm. and um, I'd had this sort of yearning to do a transatlantic crossing, Southampton to New York and back again. I don't know why. It's just mm. one of those things. And I thought, well, I'm... 61 I think I can do that and it all sort of came at the right moment and I got on the ship and um, Was transported literally into a safe place and I could sit in my cabin and open the door and watch the water just drifting past and write and um, So I had days when I was sitting there crying days when I decided at midday I'm gonna go back to bed now you know all the things I wanted to do and write think about my mum accidentally joined the ship's choir I thought it was the <laughs> captain's cocktail party but it was the ship's choir and they thrust me some pages which was a, a medley of Les Mis songs and the lyrics of course are heartbreaking yeah. so I find myself singing this bring mm. him home yeah, and I, I had to go I had to go back to the cabin because I was but just you need tears. that sometimes don't you I think we all need a good cry <laughs> well it's, it's feel a very afterwards? cathartic Mm. thing I don't think our bodies would have give us the capacity for tears if they weren't mm. there for Needed, a purpose yeah. Yeah, and mm. um, you write about village life, and I know you love village life because yeah. you and I first met down in the West Country. I know. You were living in a 1980, village. 1980, you and I, I met together. Here we still are on it the was telly. So beautiful, mm. I know. She was such a beautiful, is such a beautiful. Um, girl, but, but I know you embraced. Yeah, village so life. I, you yeah, so I did. Life. I did um, work for and live there in Cornwall, and I lived in a very small village mm. called St Dominic, and I had my first little house there, and. Um, and I was as happy as Larry, and I loved that being part of community and the true fellowship of living within a small community. And the different characters. I mean, so Tons many characters of in a different small characters, place. and all hilarious, and everybody has a nickname, mm. and uh, there's always someone you can ask to help. There was one winter when it was snowing, which is quite unusual down mm. there, and um, all our electricity and gas and everything was all cut off. Well, we didn't have gas in the village, actually, but the pub had gas. And so the local farmer got us all on his tractors and, and tracked us to the pub <laughs> because then we could eat. And you still have a house in Cornwall, so it's yes. a place you love. Yes, I love it. I love it. We're very lucky. Phil and I have a little house. And um, so that's our dream. And it's coming quickly, is to go and live there full stop, the end. Lovely. Mm. Uh, also coming quickly, sadly, is the end of this programme. Is it? Uh, yeah. Fern's uh, book, her new book, um, is a Sunday Times bestseller, The Newcomer. Another is out, bestseller. Uh, it's available oh, in well, shops now. You. And you're still touring on Calendar Girls until... Yeah, yeah, finish April the 20th, although the tour goes right on to November, and it's terrific, so come. <laughs>